Right, so this is my Yamaha World Raids 2022 model. Just going to give you a quick rundown of all the mods and upgrades that I've done on it. I use the bike for trail riding, uh, also use it on the channel as like our camera bike. Sometimes put um, panniers on the back. I've got Krieger panniers that go from there down. I'll cut in some shots to show you that. Uh, right, okay, let's go. So, the tires, we're running goop, which is like this um, goopy stuff that you put in there to stop flats. Uh, a lot of Tenere owners delete the aluminium screw here and they change it for a plastic one because when you come off, that just breaks. I mean, that's one of the first things I did on this. Yamaha crash bars. Just got them put on when got the bike. Uh, radiator grill. Got a Yamaha bash plate. Got bark busters. The bark busters didn't fit. A lot of people probably find this. When you put them on initially, they need a spacer, but without that, they come in too close and they cut in on the uh, levers. So, bark, bark, bark busters actually do that spacer, you can buy it. Um, and it just brings the, the whole thing out. These are upgraded levers. Pretty good. Uh, only issue with them is that I ride um, enduro, off road a lot, and I ride two fingers, and they're not quite not good enough for four fingers. They're not ideal for two. But anyway, they're on there now, so they're staying on there. That's what that side looks like. Ram mount. Don't run a quad lock. That's pretty good because it connects up to the USB over there. Oh, got fog lights, check this out. Because, mainly for other road users, so they can see you. <laughs> the only reason we got those. This is a rack, I can't remember the, the brand, but um, I did some research. I got this through Krieger. I liked it because it's pretty big, it's set up for the Kriegers, you just bolt it on away you go. The Krieger system, the bags, the pannier bags, come out here, we have them, we use them for uh, the cameras, we chuck the cameras in there, we chuck laptops in the side. Tell tidy. that's the Yamaha one. Uh, what else? Oh yeah. So, took the inserts out of the foot pegs. One of the biggest upgrades, that's expensive, that I've done is we've got the springs changed on the bike. So, they're a lot heavier, they're set up for me. I weigh about 95, uh, but Damien, who does our suspension, he set the spring rate a little bit firmer for the back. He allowed an extra 15 kg, so he set it up for a guy who was 110 kgs. And his theory was that when the bags are on the back and stuff, there's a lot more weight over this back end. So I guess he worked out what the happy medium was, uh, and that was it. So he went with that. So it rides so much better. Uh, what else? Haven't changed the tyres, left them the same. They're really slippery off-road, but I'm just going to wear them out. I've got a few a few road rides to do. Um, and then when those big trips are done, I'll probably change to a more off-road tyre, but I want to get the most out of them. No change to the engine, kept that the same. Standard exhaust, could probably go a bit better. I've seen videos on the internet where people have taken, there's so much internal baffling, so people take that out 
a uh, bit louder though, which I don't love. I got one of those, initially I got one of those Yamaha deflectors that go up the top of that. I didn't like it though, it just got in the way and also when you're standing up going on along a trail, it was just, you couldn't really see, I mean it's see-through but you couldn't really, it just got in the way of you looking at the trail, so I took that off. Doesn't make much difference. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, when we did the suspension, we didn't just change the springs, we changed the springs and the oil. So Damien went through, checked everything, and then he said sometimes the rear shock is left with bubbles from the factory, so when the oil's put in. So what he did, he went through it and did it right. So I knew that uh, it was gonna be right when we were riding along. probably see the I'm sure you can see the spring is a different color that's from k-tech when i had the shock off i also did the linkage had a bit of grease in there a lot of people say it runs dry but it wasn't too bad anyway it's all greased up now one other thing was i've got a stiffer side stand spring there to stop it flopping down when you're riding along this has got all my tools in it I'll quickly show you. All right, here's the toolkit pulled apart. So this is, I think, the middle size one of these bags that I could get. This is zip ties, uh, also nuts and bolts. This is the toolkit. Probably too many spanners in there makes it a bit heavier, but oh well. That's for the rear wheel. Also got a tire lever on there. That's a compressor. I don't actually have spare tubes and uh, put a repair kit in there because I'm running goop, so I just risk that. That's what the rack looks like without the bag on the back. You can buy these little Krieger things that the Krieger straps just click into. Forgot to mention also, deleted the foot pegs, passenger foot pegs, so you can actually. Um, use Krieger straps to go from there up to the back if you want to tie luggage on or this and that. Uh, just saves a bit of weight. All right, I'm gonna do this one-handed. This is how this works. These just clip in there. See, that's a Krieger strap that you can buy. That clips in there. And then you tighten that up there. Do the same on that one. They're nice and tight, and that's all that holds that on. And then after, when I stop recording, I'm just gonna tuck those in to there just to keep those straps free. Probably could cut them off, but I've just left them long. Actually, just quickly, that's how I run them. So you just tuck them in there, and I'll just do that. Tire pressures for road, I think it's 36 back and 32 front. But when I ride off-road, I ride with about 20, give or take, in the front, and about 24 in the back seems to be pretty good. One thing I don't like about the black bash paint is when you scratch it, like there, it's very obvious. I did like the silver one, aluminium, just a standard color without paint, but uh, the guy in the shop convinced me that the black looked better, so I just went for that. Got that Yamaha chain guide. Standard, it doesn't come with that, but because I ride off-road, I just wanted that added security. Also got this Yamaha side stand foot thing. When you park in the mud or in the dirt and it's a bit wet off-road, this will just go straight through. But with the foot, it goes less straight through. Obligatory walk around with the engine running so you can see the lights and everything. 